Hi guys, so we just um, updated our system. Our um, system was this system. Everything is up to date. No need for Arch Linux jumping from that ISO to the future, which is 0927 in regards to the ISO, of course. And um, we have updated everything and everything is fine. A little scale and we did everything. What is new on the ISO you'll get in a few days 24.10.02, so October release. Well, what's new is small things like if we do copy bash CB, we are by default on bash. There is CZ as well for copy ZSH. And if you have fish, there is CF copy fish. Okay, so these are just quick aliases. Check them out, a lot of things in there. So I remember doing something like CLS, that's new. Because, well, I'm old school and CLS was something we typed in years, eh, years ago. And I typed at some point in time and said, why is it not working? Because, voila, it's not working. It's not in there. CLS was something we typed in the past. And I like to have these spark lines, why? Because when you're running scripts, you get a long list. It goes on and on and on and on, right? I give, I make a marker. I just make a marker and say, okay, I do something and then I can scroll back up to this line. I know that's where I started my last command because <laughs> command after command after command, 20,000 lines up there. What's my last command? That helps uh, breaking it. <laughs> into pieces basically right so well CLS that's um, probably the only thing we've done what you should do probably as well is if uh, fast fetch is your thing fast fetch is an application we have an alias for it FF but if you haven't installed it if you don't install it, it it will never work so if you want to have fast fetch just type it make a little script afterwards after installing other clinics run this script and you do less minus r plus minus s and you install fast fetch so that's what it's look it looks like and um as you see there are things in here that maybe you don't want to share local ip and all that so you can set it with the arginix 3 tool what do i want to share with the world right in a screenshot um, but it's interesting for people if you have an issue that we know, okay, he's on XFC, he XFC E4, etc. And what's important mostly is what GPU do you have, right? What CPU and GPU are you on? So NVIDIA, AMD, stuff like that. So fast fetch um, needs to be correct. If the config in fast fetch, where are you, my friend? is not correct so there is no fast fetch at this point in time if that's not okay you need to make it okay right so let's see if um, the Arsenal X3 tool is helping us in that regard there you are right if you want to be able to change something do something in general it's a config so fast fetch is here fast fetch is here so we've moved when you launch this we've put something in there to basically be able to change something <laughs> to be to have something so this is the first thing that's the normal one right apply fast fetch things changed in here what happens fast fetch less information down here this is what I would recommend to people don't share your ID. This is a virtual box. It doesn't matter. Okay. So this would be my preferences, but okay, there is small apply. And then FF, this is small, meaning it's just a few lines less. This is just a look through, right? <laughs> if you put them next to each other. So a few things we think okay why show this why show that but it's up to you just keep on clicking and save 
again another configuration again another look less and less and less you can enable fast fetch enable so it's always in the terminal but also the fun stuff in this in the sense that lolcat is something that these colors your thing in rainbow random colors which can be fun as well you can use that and that's enough for fast fetch okay so that's one thing what is interesting as well is the article let's go to the internet and see what's new so we think back what did we do in the month of september basically what have we done in package wise and anything anything really right but as you know, we have a YouTube channel and that is important because that's where we educate and teach you. So we need to make sure that we see here 2409, which I can actually do just probably like that, just for fun, right? It will be accessible in a few seconds for all of you. But this is the article we're writing right now. We still need to watch and uh, reread it again so all the typos are out but basically the month has been well let's go over it first thing is at some point in time we had this update from pac-man pac-man six to seven we made a video about it what to do if you want to do anything about it it's not necessary but it is okay if you it's a good rule it's a good um, practice to follow essential um, files, right? Like the pacman.conf in etc. So at some point in time, a user says, I'm giving up. Arch breaks my system. It's just the last throw. It's too much for me. I out of Arch. That gave me the, the idea. What if Arch Linux throws in the towel? That's an expression meaning, what if they stop? with what if art says we stop with this project no packages anymore done we're done okay and then i had the idea i'd like to keep this right i'm always on chat wm what if i don't have arch anymore as a basis so because of um, all these Pac-Man things, we've made videos. Because what we try to do, and it's always possible, but if Arch pushes out updates and we see something is wrong, we try to fix it before the majority of the population gets in the update. We can do that on our colleagues, right? But we need to just catch it in time. And if we can't, well, we turn these events into learning moments with videos like these, for example, Pac-Man 7.0 has arrived. What do we need to do, right? How to fix or how to change things. We use it also to tell you that we're not responsible for packages on the AOR. AOR is you and me, a simple user with no affiliation to Arch. Arch Linux guys say as much on the website, we're not responsible for a war so we have to wait for users just like you maintainers they called to update the package build and an update can typically uh, take up three days before we get the package but critical applications sure we can have a look and see if we can figure out how to change the package build so that we an Linux have already the fix but it's sometimes super complex right it needs patience discipline diligence whatever but knowledge as well to understand the package build what is going wrong how to fix it and sometimes really that's hard and you need to leave it up to the maintainer who, who gets it who is the maintainer of that particular package right so PAMAC AOR, we've seen that fail because of the update of Pac-Man and we used it to make something educational. So, okay, 
let's see if we can fix it let's read and that's the the idea learn to read the package build that should be a goal and start changing them slowly with small things right and small victories and then you stay in control of your your OS and that's the goal so we have made some we shared some knowledge here how to build that and we have shared 15 videos already how to build packages and if you are if you want to become an ISO builder you need to know how to build packages you want your own repo you want your own packages and then indeed the idea lingered this user giving up on Arch what if Arch gives up on us right say bye we stop can I me personally I'm a chat WM uh, fan let's say how it is probably <laughs> can I migrate to something else and this was interesting right because this new this is me being again a noob and figuring out how to change Ubuntu so that I can use ChatWM and I stayed quite a while on Ubuntu really perfecting everything and I must say I really like the release that I've made in 2404 but yes I will go to ChatWM how to boot into ChatWM so you'll see and you'll find uh, a playlist me staying on ubuntu for a while and when that got perfected i said okay can i get this on linux mint because ubuntu might stop but then again i know you will say linux mint is based on ubuntu so you can't go to linux mint then. probably right but okay just an idea what if i don't want as backend ubuntu but linux mint so each of these videos is the same idea what if i want mx linux as backend but i don't care if it's mx linux or anything else i just want the same functionality flexibility of chat wm on something else so i went through a few of these well distros and played around with it and came to the conclusion that yes no problem if arch will stop at some point in time eric just migrates to something else and i'll just as a front end i'll just have the same feeling the same apps the same everything key bindings everything i will not feel a thing if arch would fail to supply more packages and at some point in time i thought let's try one um, Arch Linux based Manjaro let's see if that actually works and it's all good okay so maybe and that's of course the point I get triggered by a video but maybe now you get triggered by another video by, by my video sorry and get a what if what if I want to move awesome or BSPWM or i3 to XYZ and one of the users already did that and we have now included in our Arcalix Nemesis script also Fedora 40 never touched it but the user shared my well used my script and shared his code to get it working on Fedora and it's now shared with you so that's great right use the what ifs use the code translate it to i don't know solus why not right change it why not gen 2 anything goes this is learning use the script we have on article nemesis have your own what if your own goal and go for it at some point in time in september we started with this remember arch iso is the base and i tried to i was a little bit creative but when i look at it now right i was a little bit infographic and the idea was you start with a base 
this this lego plate and then you build up a castle but the castle is still empty you need more packages and more fun and you add more fun to it and basically that's arch it's lego like so i started with um a series about well to to share my vision that anything is possible if you want to build a server of arch Linux, sure if you want to build something for your music you synthesize it sure right anything is possible it's lego like choose the desktop the applications anything and that's what we try to explain in all these videos hoping you see my vision see what i see after eight years or so on arch that you can build anything on it and have well stability flexibility whatever you want to call it uh, is great and as usual we're using the latest code of calamaris to yeah, install basically an installer for any linux out there so that's what's new that's going to be this video here and um, voila hope you learn a lot Linux, because i don't want you thinking boxes Linux is linux and yes it's arch but as you see how easy it is to migrate chat wm or i3 or 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 right i can't keep making videos like these but f f this i3 for example can be seen already on youtube i've migrated like eight years ago i migrated i3 config to dozen of uh, distros and it's fun it's possible it's doable it's not that difficult so voila that's uh, what you can learn on our clicks but as uh, usual most I mean, most important don't think in boxes don't think in distros think in linux we are on linux and all the knowledge you can apply i have applied now on uh, peppermint and uh, pop os and all that right it's not that difficult cheers <laughs>